Hey there farmers, it's Red Knight here and welcome back to a video. Today's video is going to be focusing on our two helpers, Rose and Ernest. Now I'm very pleased with the latest update, it has changed them again. So this is stage three and I'm rather happy about the actual development that's gone through with these two characters to the actual position we've got them at the moment. Now, as usual, they will sit up there at their little house on top of the cliff face and they will only come down when you actually request them. Now, recently there has been a very nice little offer. So, three days free of charge, all you had to do was watch a movie. Now, if you are the kind of person who spends diamonds within the game, you don't have to watch the movie, you just get them. But if you are someone who hasn't spent diamonds, you are going to have to watch an advertisement to be able to use their services. But it's okay, it's just a short advertisement for a game. But once you do actually get them, it's kind of cool. And you've got the opportunity to actually use these two characters in the way that you choose. Now, first of all, as an example, we go to Ernest. He's going to be collecting uh, your dairy products and he's also going to be collecting your sugar-based products. And once he's actually collected them, he will keep them in storage until you actually need them. Now, he's been collecting the brown sugar for me, so he has plenty of those. So I'm going to reduce that down at the moment because he's actually got lots of those in stock. Now, what I'm going to do is to increase my white sugar count and get him working on producing that one. So he's now going to be busy doing that for me so let's just confirm that one as well now just go back in there you'll see that it's confirmed and the actual wheel is spinning around so he's actually doing some work for me now over here as well he's in the process of actually collecting creams ah, he's doing the butter and he's doing the cheese for me and I've chosen 25 of each of those so in total 75 items but I've not chosen any of the goat's cheese at the moment now you'll see there that he's actually got five, five uh, and six. So what I'm going to actually do is to just adjust my settings at the moment. So I'm going to reduce that one down to basically zero and he's already done those so I needn't worry. I'm going to reduce down my actual butter as well because I'm going to be focusing more on producing something else overnight because I'm going to be going to bed very soon and I want him to be actually uh, collecting the goat's cheese for me so I'm going to switch focus now. So I'm going to have him producing some goat uh, cheese overnight which is good and let me get that up to 20 as well. In fact and yeah, no, that's too many I think 15 14 let's do 10 of those so those is good and let me get some of the actual regular cheese going as well so 10 and 10 confirm that and then he will be busy for me so he's got five already mm, we better do another five confirm that one okay Ernest is done now Rose I do like, so the fact that Rose has also been working for me as well, I'm going to reduce down my egg count at the moment because I don't need any more eggs and I'm going to reduce down my actual uh, milk count as well and we'll take that one down to zero, we'll do all of these back down to zero at the moment, so she's collected what I want her to do. Now I do want her to focus uh, a little bit more on the actual uh, goat's milk but again we can do that one later as well. So she's collected all of those items there, there in storage and basically she's maxed out. She's also got some feed there on the go. Now I can actually adjust her services now. So let me show you how to adjust her. You'll see the little wheel that's just on the left hand side. Click on that and you've got three options now. Now this is the biggest change within the actual game for Rose and I think this will please many many people. Now if you're like me you want Rose to do everything. You want her to feed all of your animals, you want her to keep the extra feed, you want her just to be collecting those items and that's my preference which is the first one so if you click on the information there it tells you Rose keeps one extra feed per animal uh, so basically if you've got like 10 animals she has 11 if you've got six animals she's got seven so whenever an animal is hungry she feeds it and replenishes the feed stock so perfect now you've got this option down here where you can just click on it as well and it will adjust the settings. So keep extra feed, do not feed all of the animals. So Rose keeps one extra feed per animal, she only feeds animals she needs to collect from. So she's not actually going to be feeding your animals. Now for me that seems like a kind of a waste of time. If I'm going to hire her then she can do everything. The last option down there, if we click on that one, Rose only makes enough feed to feed animals that she needs to collect from. She does not feed other animals. Now, if you are doing a, let's say, a Derby task, probably this is the most beneficial one for you. Now, for me, 
I'm always going to be choosing this one. Feed all of my animals, keep the extra feed, and that's what I want her to do. So let me just confirm on that one again. Now coming back here, you see the question mark. Click on that one, and it gives you all of the information you need to know about rows. It tells you about the levels, etc. So basically, they are two very, very useful people. They are there to be used to actually collect your resources. Now, one thing I did notice about the game uh, that's changed as well, if we come on over to the actual barn itself, the actual settings there have changed. So I do like this a lot. We click on increase storage there. Uh, you can see that uh, I need to collect some items there to actually build up my storage. I come down here, you'll see everything here has changed as well. Now, it's actually the one menu option, and you can see all of the information there for the items that are being collected. Now previously when Rose and uh, Ernest collected items for me, you would see a little indication here that there was actually something there that was collected, but it's actually not there anymore, so it's disappeared from that settings. However, if you do come on down to here, and as an example, let's say you wanted to sell something, you've got your regular items there for your silo, brand new menu option, same for your barn, but you've got another one there as well. So you can actually see here what items they've actually collected, so if you wanted to sell those, you can and do so as well. Now remember they're not actually stored in your barn so they're not actually showing up there they are her own personal storage so even though it says 45 then uh, I've actually got a little bit more in stock because of what she's been doing for me. Now that's the same with Ernest as well so I'm going to actually start making some items now using some of those resources and then basically it will reduce down some of what they've been collecting so if we do that one there we use some of the butters. Uh, what else do I need? I need some more of those honey popcorns. We'd do that one as well. Oh my goodness me, I've run out. I think I've got too many popcorns, you know. I need to start selling those off as well. Right, now we need to make some more cakes. What do I need? Let's do this one as well. And oh dear, we're out of sugar there. Not to worry. Loads of cakes there. Oh my goodness me, this is fantastic. I love actually having someone who's collecting all of these resources for me. Uh, because they've collected all the resources, I don't have to worry about this. Uh, it's all there. It's sitting there in my storage. It's fantastic. So Rose and Ernest are two very, very important important characters because they do everything that I want them to do and I do not have to worry about preparing anything so it makes my game much much easier especially when I have a busy work schedule so Rose and Ernest they're gonna keep walking around and they're gonna keep doing all of their little tasks so I'm gonna keep them very very busy trust me on that side and I need some more soya beans so let me get that on the go oh my goodness me I almost ran out there my grapes are growing, my bananas are growing as well, and I love the new design. Uh, I'm not worrying too much about any of the crops at the moment, so we got a chest there, that one's giving me an axe, which is good. Uh, I, I'm liking this, I do like the new update, a lot of really cool changes, but Rose and Ernest, fantastic, really, really pleased the way that that's actually been changed. So I do like the fact now that everything is there and I don't have to worry about actually making it anymore. It makes collecting for my actual pizzas much, much easier. So I do like the fact that it's all done and dusted. Okay, I'll load those machines up in a moment. Right, now that's a quick focus on Rose and Ernest. Uh, they are nice characters, you just need to adjust them. If I come into my stocks now, you'll see some of the items are still there, so we need to adjust that a little bit more. Let's go and start making some more goodies. So what do we need? We need some more scarves. We need some more of the other items as well. We do this one there, which is good. I'll take that and that and that. Do I need to make any more of these cloth hats? No, I need to make some of the top hats, but I need coal. That one to do there, good. Get some more on the go as well. And we'll take those as well. Thank you very much. Come back down here again. And we need some top hats. And we need some sun hats. But I'll do the top hats as my priority for this one. So, oh dear, I've now run out. Not to worry. Let's do some cloth hats as well. Load those up and start using those resources. We can sell those off and make lots of money as well. Uh, don't need any of these. I'm good here. Can't make any of those. I've got none left. So let's go and have a look at the storage now. See how she's going. 
so okay I've gone down to zero and she's not actually doing anything right now look at my actual sheep there you'll see there my sheep and I'm going to actually have her sorting those sheep at now so we come back up here again we adjust the settings there back up to 20 and I'm going to confirm that one now and come back down there and she will start sorting them out so we watch this one the sheet will start changing now as she collects them that there it goes there beautiful 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 and she's telling me that she actually needs soybeans so I need to start making soybeans so she can start making the feed as well perfect I do not have to do anything it's all being done as I'm watching the game whoa super super cool now I need to use some of my bacon as well so let's make some more hot dogs uh, I think I need some more of these as well again using lots of bacon and that is super good so and then in a moment she will start collecting from my other animals as well so let me go and adjust my bacon requirements now so bring that back up to 20 in fact, I'm going to keep these all on 20 because I use them so much, you see. So we bring the milk back up to 20 as well. And we bring my eggs back up to 40. So that way I've got plenty of resources already done and she can get to work on those. And I've got my 100. Yay, done and dusted. Right now my chickens are being done which is good as well everything's being sorted I'm pleased I'm happy it's great it's wonderful keep improving it so stage three of Rose and Ernest very very nice and for me this is the best change here so I love this a lot okay right that's Red Knight signing off you had a quick introduction again to the helpers hope you like it see you all next time and have a happy heyday now goodbye all